Welcome back everyone and a big warm hello. We're looking at Space Harrier 2 on the ZX Spectrum 128K. Quite nice music on this one. Uh, we looked at it already on the Commodore Amiga, so it's about time we looked at it on the Spectrum world. I think this one only came out on the 128K, correct me if I'm wrong, but published by Grand Slam Entertainments in 1990. And um, yeah, a progression from the first game, Space Harrier 1. Other 8-bit consoles it come out on was the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. Once again, you're in the Fantasy Zone, the year is 6236. You battle towards the 214th sector to rid the tyranny of the imposed Dark Harrier. You uh, have to battle him at the end over 12 levels. So let's see how we get on. Now already I can tell by the graphics colours this game is going to prove a bit tricky as we're in the stunner area. Everything's the same colour. Makes it tricky. This music's quite cool though. I'd have to say it's easier on the Commodore Amiga just because of the colour differences. But let's try and ignore that. Let's see how far we can get. I think my first go I'll be with the music on and then we'll turn the music off to see what the sound effects are like. Ah! Oh, I like that sound. Ah! You're going to be hearing that a lot. The trees are white and a bit see-through. I like the checkerboard ground though. So do check out my review of this first Space Harrier game on the ZX Spectrum so you can compare the two. This one seems a bit more polished but all the whiteness makes it a little bit tricky. But if you wanted an easy ride why don't you just play Hangman and only select words of three letters. Do do do! Right, there's a wave of uh, nasties coming down the bottom there. They seem to fire white smoke rings or something. But my strategy is just to waggle the Get joystick ready. from left to right and avoid stuff by random, really. It's not a bad little game, this one. It's well programmed, held together well. I uh, strongly suspect, though, it's better to play than to watch, so I'll try and keep you entertained as we get to game over already. It doesn't use much of the screen. There's a bit of a cheat there on the right hand side you've got the Space Harrier logo and that worm thing. Looks a bit like a Medusa. That's taken up a lot of it. So what we're using about just over a quarter of the screen. I suppose they had to do that to get the speed up. Right back to the stunner area. Let's see if I can at least get out of uh, stage one. Now we turn the music off this time. And the uh, the sound effects are pretty weedy. I'm not sure even how strongly they're coming across on this recording. I have to balance it between the loudness of the music and the sound effects there on this commentary. I, I suspect you can hardly hear it. That was a problem I had when I recorded the Amiga review. The music was a little bit loud. We just got away with it. It's a delicate balance. Let's just concentrate on getting off a of level 1 so I don't look like a complete loser as I get hit by this ringed hoop laser blast fart thing. There's a technical word for it. This game has a total of 12 stages I believe and uh, I don't know a cheat for it so <laughs> we'll be lucky to see the first two. Apologies but I'll try my best. Subscribers of the channel and long time watchers will know I'm not brilliant at every game. I'm probably brilliant at about 1% of the games. I bet you can't find it. But uh, we're just having a laugh really, playing it as the average Joe would have done. Feel free to comment below on uh, cheats that you know or strategies you know for getting through this. But mine's just a bit random really. Right, end of level gut boss, guardian type thing. It's a big worm if you can see it properly. It's animating a bit staggering as I bump into a tree. You can see my lives there in the top middle. You start off with five. I've got two left. Can we get off level one? I hope so. I don't know how many hits this thing takes. <laughs> Trees are really deadly in the fantasy zone. I think I've done him, have I? No, yes, yes, no. But every so often there's uh, bonus stages. So, um, 
I think you have to collect as many points as you can. Game over again, dearie me. I'm uh, I'm str struggling a bit here. So it looked like there was two uh, bosses to beat. I beat the first one, then didn't beat the second one. I can't leave it there, can I? We've hardly been playing. I think it deserves one more go. Yes. Right, back into the fantasy zone. The stunner area, the 214th sector. Right, so let's concentrate this time, although I was concentrating last time. Now, there are things on the ground, but the, the colour scheme makes it almost impossible to see them in time. I don't know what speed we're travelling. Probably about 500 miles an hour. This white character. On the Amiga version, he's in uh, red. It's got a few different colours. Here, it's all white. All white? It's not all right. It's all white. The sky is green. It's pretty, uh, I don't know. Have you ever been to the Fantasy Zone? I'm not talking about a gay nightclub. Not that I know about such things. Right, moving on. Forward, attack, shoot, blast, attack, blast, shoot, aliens, blast. Yes. Actually, this game is a little bit dull without the music, isn't it? Perhaps I can sing it. Do, do, do. Dee, 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 dee. No, it's worse with me singing. Right, is that worm thing going to... No, I thought that was the end of Level Guardian then. Yeah, it's better with the sound effects. I like him saying no, and I like it saying get ready. That was good on the Spectrum 128K to get it to say those two things. I don't know what it is, but... There's a few games that have a speech on it on the ZX Spectrum, but whenever you hear it, it's very satisfying. The first game that did it, although it was a bit muffled, was Ghostbusters. That was that, Actually, that was the best bit about the whole game, because that was a bit of a pig, that one. I have reviewed it, so check that one out. As you drive Ecto-1 round the streets. In a very poor fashion. Right, we're up to this worm here. Let's avoid the trees. Then get to the second end of level boss and hopefully progress to level 2. <laughs> and then we'll call that a success, I think. Die, you big worm thing. And how many times have you said that in your life? Right, here we go. Where is it? Hasn't frozen, has it? No, right. There it is. Right, you've got to shoot the heads there. There's three of them. There's one. Let's focus on that. Did we get it? Yes, that's exploded. So we've got the left and right one to do. Avoid it firing at us. Then, here we go. Right, we'll take the right one out. This looks fairly straightforward. I think we're going to get to level two here, folks. Hurrah! There we go. Like taking candy from a from a, a sleeping person. Right, this is a familiar. Was only on the ZX Spectrum. Right, press play on the tape. All twelve levels you've got to play. Load it on the tape here, and this is when it can go critically wrong. It's loading. Yes, classic classic Spectrum loading screen. You can't get more nostalgic or retro than this. This is back. This is back in the day for sure. This game came out in 1990, so it's near the end of the Spectrum's uh, commercial run. Really, really punching above its weight in 1990. It was against the Commodore Amiga and the Atari ST, 16-bit uh, games, which uh, people were moving across to. Games didn't take as long to load. They was on disc rather than cassette. Don't times change. Press stop. Will do. Stage two, please. In your own time. Right, here we go. We're in four's yard. I don't know who four is. But anyway, we've got to avoid these rather white transparent columns and it's the gameplay is pretty similar. We have this weedy photon gun here. So the stuff you fire is white, the things coming across towards you is white, so it's quite easy to lose your perspective. At least the sky is the right colour now. Uh, checkerboard ground, green and white. But, um, I think you already spotted that. It moves quite slow, this. But uh, that's just as well, because I'm not doing very well. If it moves much quicker, I'll be doomed. And I'll probably be doomed quite soon. How far are we going to progress in this uh, stage? I'm nowhere near the top score, as you probably have seen. Right, I think this is my last life. So don't blink. Blink and you'll probably miss it. 10 points you can spot any of the ground features. No, don't know what they are. Oh, I've died. I think I've dumped it, bumped into a rose bush. 
Game over. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that one as always. That was Space Harrier 2 on the ZX Spectrum 128K uh, from 1990, published by Grand Slam Entertainments. Thanks for watching as always. Comment your uh, thoughts below. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, because that's always pretty helpful. Shows me I'm on the right track, or indeed not. Uh, and once again, uh, take care. Uh, very best for the future, and lots of other stuff. Goodbye. Goodbye.